I'm Özgün Yılmazok. Welcome to 5 Minute Art. I will talk about the post-impressionist painting by the French painter Paul Cézanne today. Still Life with Apples and Oranges. Still Life is a painting genre depicting mostly inanimate subject matter, typically commonplace objects, which are either natural, like food, flowers, dead animals, plants, shells, or man-made objects, like glasses, books, vases, jewelry, or coins. Many still life paintings were produced in artistry until the 19th century, but none of them had the vision of Cezanne's versions. This still life painting is simply made up of some fruit, crockery, and fabric. Simple that may sound, that painting displays a cluttered arrangement of posing elements, colors, and patterns. Let's analyze in detail. There are different draperies in this painting. The one that hangs from the left with rust brown and purplish squares and dark green red design seems to be a rug. On the right, we see another fabric patterned with light green leaves draping down. On top of these two is the large white multifolded tablecloth, which has some fruit, a dish, a fruit bowl, and a jug on. The surface on which these elements stand appears to be somewhat ambiguous. Concealed by the rug and the tablecloth, we see a little part of a sofa with green upholstery and wooden frame in the middle lower foreground. On the other hand, the right hand side reveals a long table leg. The rest of the tabletop seems to be resting on the sofa. This extraordinary arrangement is confusing since it is not clear where the sofa ends and the table begins, or how the draperies take shape based on what is underneath. The objects are disposed around in a seemingly casual fashion that gives an impression of movement, depth, and life. The fruit on the sofa and the table do not seem plausible to remain in their positions. The single apple in the foreground looks as if it is about to roll down. Same is valid for the plate with apples, which is tilted to the front and is about to slide down. The oranges on the fruit bowl are viewed from the eye level. However, the fruit bowl itself is viewed from above. The jug which is barely detectable due to its pattern matching the fabrics, is leaning towards the left, while the fruit in front of it seems to have no weight and looks suspended in the air somehow. When we focus on the tablecloth or other draperies, we see that they stick out of the picture frame towards us and leave the fruit and crockery behind because there is not adequate and convincing light and shadow effects that suggest these elements lie behind these objects. For the sofa and the table, it is not clear if they are parallel to the picture plane or at an angle. All those details reveal the fact that the painting is not designed from a single viewpoint but actually from multiple viewpoints. Why does Cezanne do that? Does he not know how to create a proper composition and use the perspective rules? Cezanne knows how to paint and apply the perfect perspective and composition, of course. But he chooses to do something extraordinary here, to lead the weaver into seeing differently from multiple views and make them think about how objects look he is experimenting on the established perspective rules by playing with colors, shapes, and composition. His approach to painting is completely new, which will later become a source of inspiration for the Cubist painters. 
This is the end of the analysis for this mind-puzzling still life arrangement of Cezanne. See you next time in another analysis. Please feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments section. Thank you. Thank you.